get our view as well. I'm going to try and get this fax machine, fax machine going for my, for my neighbour. It's a Panasonic KXFM131. Not a bad machine. I spent a lot of money on cartridges for it, so I don't really want to have to buy a new machine and find that the, all these cartridges I got don't fit the new one. So I'm going to try and fix this old one for them. It's a pretty good quality machine, all in all. This um, went through a power spike. I've faced the fuse, and it doesn't just completely dead to the world. It's got nothing on its output, this power supply here. Now, a good trick when I um, plug this in here, like a little tick, 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 tick noise. And a good trick to track down exactly what component it is, you stick this in the ear, and you follow around with the other end. And if you be able to track down the exact component, with this, so it makes it a lot easier to pinpoint exactly what component is making that noise. So, good tip. I've already powered this up before. I found this K2651 transistor was um, going tick, 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 tick. I've managed to find one off a junk TV, a replacement. So, I'll replace it with this one and see what happens. Then we'll go from there. Now, I did crank this thing up on the variac. I got the same as the input voltage across these capacitors, but not on that middle one. I got the same as the input voltage all the way through to the, um, I think through to here, I got DC voltages. So these little rectifier diodes are getting power. That capacitor was getting the right power and it wasn't getting AC, so that was working fine. But from, from this transistor on, I wasn't getting much voltage, so. I'm going to try replacing that to start off with. Let's see what happens. I'll just show you what this noise this thing's making. I'll plug it in. I've already checked it down and it's that that's making the noise. So I locate this on the camera's mic, which happens to be down below the lens. And I put the pipe on that transistor. And the camera should be picking that up pretty good. Especially what you're going to do. Search like that with the other end on your ear. And that's the component there you hear the loudest. Unplug. You to be very careful when working on the power supplies. So I've got a big 56 microfarad. 400 volt filter cap would really kick you if that was a discharge under your, under your skin, so I'll discharge that. Okay, it must have already dissipated, so just double check. Huh. I was expecting a big bang, but it must have dissipated most of its voltage. Just to be safe, just... I've got these little caps here which can give you a good kick as well. Just to be on the safe side anyway. Just don't be too rough with a screwdriver when you're doing that because you've got surface mount components and some power supply, so you've got like little resistors and stuff here you don't want to knock off the board. This is quite a good quality little power supply. It's a Mitsumi SRF913 EK, so that's that little component there I've got to replace. So yeah, I'm going to just get the soldering iron warmed up, get my little replacement one, we'll unbolt that, and get this ready to be installed. We'll see what happens. Okay viewers, this is actually a power MOSFET by the way. This is the original one, and it turns out they never even bothered putting a heat sink compound on it. That was kind of um, weird. Good. A good quality manufacturer, good quality parts, but they didn't put heat sink compound on the components. Most of you wonder these ones here got in the heat sink compound. I'm gonna to have to check them. That's if this power supply even works after I did this repair, but we'll find out. So I'll move that back, put a dob of this in. Oops, gotta get it in the right spot. Bit hard. Oops, there you go. You've got to get it in the right spot anyway, that should be working. There you go. 
bit messy but it works. Now I'll bolt it back down the way it was. So the screw was on this side. Alright, I'll bolt this FET back down, heat sink compound then, and we'll see what happens. Alright, viewers, I got the PSU back in. Let's see if this thing is going to work. If not, something else has probably gotten popped. Get this bloody rag out of here. Let's see if it comes back. It's still not working. Not a single response. Still doing that ticking sound, so... Something else has popped in there. Still need further testing. Alright, well... I did say before that second safety capacitor in there had, didn't, had, didn't have the um, input voltage in it. Everything else was getting the input voltage but that second safety capacitor so I don't know if that capacitor is bad or something that in circuit in here the primary side of this power supply has gone bad or what but I replaced the fuse and everything. Let me see if I can um now let you see what you guys think. I've changed that out, that out, so... Well, definitely that is not the problem. So, yeah. I'll keep... Yeah. I'll keep working it out in the meantime, so yeah, thanks for watching.